So hi guys, it's CC Cubing, and today we'll be pretty much reviewing pretty much all my all my cubes. I won't be reviewing um, my broken 4x4, my two snake cubes, or oh yeah, that's about it. I also have two puzzles on the way, so I might be doing, I might be doing a vi a separate videos on them when I when I get them. But today we have a review on three three by threes, a five by five, a gear cube, two by two. Um, mirror cube, square one, cube, and pyramids. So I'm going to start off with my pyramids. So this is a Shengsha pyramid. I get all my puzzles off Amazon or eBay. Um, I got this off Amazon in a set with the two by two for four pound. It was a very good price. Um, when it came, it was really stiff and you could hardly turn it. It was literally about this hard to turn. But now I've loosened it. It's really good. I do have occasional lockups, but it's either I have it super smooth and fast with lockups, or really slow but with no lockups. So I chose the lockups. Um, but yeah, I would definitely recommend this cube. And um, yeah, so on to the next cube. So I'll go on to my gear cube. And um, I don't know what brand this is. It isn't really a, a, a specific brand or anything. It's just I got this off eBay uh, for two pounds. Very cheap. Um, when I got it, it did not turn good at all. It would not. It wouldn't turn. It was so bad. It would not turn. So I just soaked it in water for a bit, and that got rid of loads of dust and all of the things that was inside of it. And now it turns really well. And I just dropped it. It does occasionally lock up, and I have had it a few times where the gears have spun. Um, so then you think you've solved it, but you haven't, but you actually have, but just the gears have spun. Same with having like a corner twist on a 3x3, but the gears will spin, like, it's really annoying. But yeah, it's a really fun puzzle, really easy to learn, um, and yeah, definitely recommend this as well. So next we have my Rubik's 3x3. And this is my first Rubik's Cube, well it was my second Rubik's Cube, but it was the first one that got me... It's the first one that I attempted to solve, but I'm failed. Because the f first one I ever had was like from 1980, and it was terribly, it was just horrible. And when I learned to solve the 3x3, I tried to solve it, speed solve it, and it just snapped. It literally snapped, and I had to throw it away. But this, um, just, just listen to the sound it makes when it turns. It literally sounds like the sand inside of it. It is... It turns pretty well for for Rubik's brand. It's because I've done hundreds of solves on it. And it just constantly locks up and just it's got so many problems. And it hurts your fingers. I average about three minutes trying to solve this with the beginner's method, but it is just. Just don't get it. Don't get anything by Rubik's, okay? They're absolutely terrible. I don't have a Rubik's 2x2, but my friend has a Rubik's 2x2, and it's literally worse than this. And it, it pops. This doesn't pop, though, okay? This doesn't pop. That's the only good thing about it. Apart from that, it, it doesn't corner cut whatsoever. It just locks up and breaks. So, next we have my 5x5. Five five. I do not know what brand this is. I think it's Sheng Shao. Um, but when I got it off Amazon, uh, it didn't say, it just said Rubik's 5x5. Five five. It's not Rubik's, I know that. But it turns quite well. I mean, I don't know how 5x5 five five is supposed to turn, because this is the only one I've ever turned or had a go with. Can't solve 5x5, five five. I don't think many people can. Um, but I like solving the first layer. I do that quite a lot. Well, not even the first layer, just the first side. Just, I don't know. But yeah, it turns very well. It it does constantly feel like it's going to explode because of the lockups, and it does not corner cut at all. So, I don't know what brand it is, so I can't recommend it. Because I have seen some 5x5s on YouTube that are a lot better than this, so I don't think I'd recommend this as a speed solving 5x5. Um, but then again, I don't know what brand it is, so I can't really say much about it. Next, we have my Sheng Sha Mirror Cube. Which is by far my best turning puzzle, which I'm really annoyed about because I'd rather have this in a 3x3 than a mirror cube. But it's just so fast. It does not pop. Unbelievably fast. And it's really fun to solve. And annoying to solve. But it is just absolutely amazing. It's unbelievable. When I first got it, 
uh, it just had this really weird metallic springy sound, like I turn it and it'd sound like the springs like bouncing around inside of it. But after about five solves that went away and I was just left with this really smooth, amazing piece of art. <laughs> so I'm annoyed that this isn't in a, like a 3x3 or anything, but it's amazing so I definitely recommend the Shen Shao Mirror Cube, it's absolutely amazing. Next we have my 2x2, again I don't know what brand this is. I presume it's Sheng Shao because when I bought them in the in the set it said Sheng Shao Pyramids and Rubik's 2x2. Two two. This isn't Rubik's. Um so I'm presuming it's Sheng Shao, but then again I've never known Sheng Shao to make puzzles this bad. I mean it's not bad because I've done that many solves on it, but honestly when I first got it it was the worst thing ever. Um but it isn't Rubik's, I know that. But now it's it's alright. I mean I'd much prefer, I, I really want a new one, a new 2x2, two two. I'm probably going to get the Cycling Boys 2x2, two because two, I really like Cycling Boys, they're really good, but for now this is good, I mean I don't necessarily enjoy 2x2, two two. I mean I don't speed solve it often or anything, so yeah. Next we have this 3x3, three three, which I don't know what brand it is, and I don't really want to know because none of you want it, no one wants this. It's pretty much a Rubik's brand slightly faster but no matter what you do it will lock up and pop um, I can probably just turn it a bit and it will lock up and most likely pop um, I cannot go through a whole solve without it popping once or twice yeah and it's a real pain um, you might it sometimes is it's really good when it's not locking up or popping it's really fast and I just messed up there and I just messed up again There we go. Um, but I wouldn't recommend it. Um, when I first got it, it was just the same as it is now. There's been no improvements. I got this in a set with my t old 2x2 two because two, I lost my old one. Uh, my 4x4, four four, which is broke, and my 5x5, five five, which is it. So, I mean, I don't know what brand this is, but I wouldn't recommend it if I ever find now. Next, we have my Cyclone Boys Feiru 3x3, three three, which is my main 3x3. Three three. Um, it's very fast. It's good on everything. It does not uh, lock up often. It does lock up like once, once every solve or something. But it's really fast, really smooth. Uh, only one complaint: it does not corner cut it at all. That's it. It 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 does not corner cut. If this corner cut, uh, it will probably be everyone's main because it is just absolutely unbelievable. But it doesn't corner cut, and it's really annoying because it's a really fast cube. So, bit of a disappointment. Next, we have my um, Moyu cube. I think it's Moyu. Moyu or Sheng Shao. Again, it doesn't say um, Mo Fang Ji. If anyone can tell me what brand this is, I'll be very grateful. Um, it's extremely fast. It's amazing. It's it's almost un it's uncontrollable at times. I probably shouldn't have got this as my first scoop because I'm brand new to scoop when I got it. And um, it is just way too fast for me. I can't control it. I should have started off with a um, slightly smaller scoop. Um, it does have occasional pops. I mean, some of these corners cannot pop because they're screwed in. But then there's some corners, if I can find one, which will come out once or twice every solve. And these centers as well, these um, these come out as well, not often, but when they do, it is such a pain because all of it comes out. And skews are an absolute pain to get back together. But apart from that, it's really fast, but not a beginner's cube. It's definitely for experienced skewers because it is just very uncontrollable. And finally, we have another. Um, well, not another, but we have my square one, made by the same company. I have forgot what it is, so someone please tell me. Um, it's the same as the scoop. Um, the top and bottom are really gummy, but they're really smooth, but they're just quite slow. Um, but the slice is unbelievable. It can just... Look at that. It's, it's, the, it's the most fastest thing ever. If a 3x3 three three had all of its sides as fast as this, it would be everyone's main. But unfortunately, it's only for the slice. It's not for any of the other layers. And, oh yeah, 
Um, no matter what you do, it will pop every single turn you make. Well, no, if, if you do slow turns, then it doesn't, but if I try and flick it really fast, and now it's not doing anything, because, it's, see, it just, it just pops. It, it just pops. Don't know why, because I was looking at reviews on this by countless people, and it all, they all said it does not pop. So, I mean, it might just be the model I've got, but it, it does pop a lot. It just con constant pops. It's just terrible. But it's speedy, does corner cutting, which is quite good for a uh, square one. Square ones can't really corner cut. But apart from that, the slice is absolutely amazing and it just popped again. Um, top and bottom are really gummy, they're quite nice. Um, but yeah, it just constantly pops, and that's why I don't really like it, and I can't really speed solve it because it just pops constantly like, like that. I just turned it, and it just pops. It's only these pieces as well. It's not even the full bit. It's just these little cap things, and it's so annoying. Oh, it just fired at me. It's gone on the floor. Anyway, so that's all of them. And um, thank you guys for watching, and stay tuned for my next videos.